everyone, what am I you doing? Hope you are good. It's under the egg day this year, aka WT as you need, and you are welcome back to my channel. And if you're just seeing this for the first time, you're welcome. And since the last time I posted a video, that's the brother sister tag. I think I posted another video after that. But since it's the brother sister tag video where we had 56 subscribers till now when we have like 79 subscribers last time I checked it means like close to 20 people have joined us no more we're going to sing and welcome those new subscribers you two are missed we love you we appreciate you so we're going to sing for you guys you are welcome oh, eh, eh, eh. you are welcome oh, eh. get, get. You are welcome to the channel of the happiest people. We love you. We love you very much. We are happy people. Yes, we love you. You are welcome. We are happy people. Yes, we love you. You are welcome. You're welcome to the channel. Please do the subscribe button down below. And the very website is so you stay in the front. Once you're doing a video, you'll be the first to see it. Don't mind, you're always hyper. Also, <laughs> Oh, it's my regular WT fan members. You guys, you know how we do it now. Shall we? Hey, it's a me bow when you share what? Hey, le 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 Alright, hope you guys are good, hope you guys are fine, hope you guys are smashing your goals, hope you guys are doing well, did you miss me, because I miss you guys. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so from the title video, I'm sure you can guess, you can figure out what this video is about. Yes, we're talking about backpack again. I know, I know, we are tired of hearing about it, but you guys cannot get tired. Yeah, you cannot be tired. <laughs> yes, and this is because I've gotten... A lot of questions after my last video in my book. I got a lot of questions, DMs. I don't think I got any email questions. But now I got DMs, I got questions in my comment section and all of that about my book. And I can't actually blame anyone because I mean this is the time when people are just getting into the school, like the admission period. So there's gonna be a lot of questions. One of the questions I was get I was getting or I have been getting are from freshers. Wanting to know one or two things about this, which is cool. Like that's what I'm going to help you guys. Check it. So without any further ado, eh? Without any further delay, let's just get right into the video, shall we? I'll get right into the questions that were asked, and I would just add one or two things. Alright, so this question is from Estarella. She says, "Hey, so I watched some videos on your YouTube channel concerning backpack, and I wasn't really satisfied. So I was wondering if you could tell me what I'm supposed to and not supposed to do in backpack course I'll be coming next month." All right, so this question I believe cover up everything I would have to say. So let's get right into it. I did get the first video. If you've not watched that, I'll give put a link in the show box where you can watch it. I know people are tired of seeing videos on backpack, but the thing is. According to my YouTube analytics, that is the most searched video on my channel right now. Like a lot of people are constantly going back to that video. That video, if you go, if you go check the videos, like the videos I have on Backpack, you see that I've gotten over 200 views, and those are like the videos that have made way for me. So I think a lot of people really want to know about Backpack, and if that is what's going to bring you the views and subscribers, it might as well just talk about Backpack. After <laughs> having said that, I want to really apologize. I think my life is full on Twitter, so you guys should please just bear with me. It's all going up and coming down. I hope it's stabilized in time. But, anyways, so we're talking about things you should do and things you should not do when it comes to back up. Well, I'll just basically tell you things you should not have back up. Let me just say that way. Things you should not have back up. It's the same thing I did in my previous video, but I think this one is just addition, especially for the freshers. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to have to say is. This statement that you keep hearing back from the first day you enter to school, eh, till after your first semester examination on your level, at least, yes. And you might not just see it till after your new level. Just get ready for it. And the statement is your first class begins with your first class. That statement you would hear it in Java seminar, you would hear it in church, most likely you would hear it in classes. You will hear it everywhere. You will hear it everywhere. And to an extent, that statement is actually true. Yes, you have to attend classes, especially your first class, because a lot of lecturers tend to give some tips in their first class, because they believe only the smart ones attend classes, first class. So make sure you attend your first class 
as much as possible like try your best to attend your first class i mean your first class starts like two weeks after your resumption so what's your excuse yes you guys are going to resume this sunday you guys are meant to resume this sunday and classes don't start till after we turning students have resumed which is we are resuming next week sunday classes don't start till monday i think monday after we resume or the monday after but so you see you guys have like at least a week if not two weeks to get to know the school and start attending classes so please attend your first class you should be in school by the first week if you got your admission before now so attend your first class like they say your first class begins with your first class take your first semester seriously honestly take your first semester on your level seriously it will determine a whole lot of things please take your first semester seriously in fact take your 100 level seriously take it take it serious if you're even going to do anything have fun play and everything let's start from turning them for your for your first year take it seriously please be cool we beg the second thing i want to tell you people is there are a lot of opportunities in Bangkok invest trust me a lot of opportunities in Bangkok university there are so many clubs you could join don't sit idle this is something i know i slacked on when i got to school like I did not do anything. I'm not doing any activity. On the level, on the level. So my thing I never try to become active. Yes, my thing I never try to become active. But make sure from your other level, you get active. Department will get active. Um, social life will get to your point. Spiritual life will get to your point. Let everything about you. Don't be a 90 degree student. Be a 360 student. When they're talking about your spiritual life, check. Financially, check. They're talking about academically, check. Social life check like everything for you is check 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 that's the kind of student you want to be that's the kind of student, that's the kind of student you should be so make sure you grab those opportunities in Bangkok university grab them and have fun that's the thought thing i'll tell you have fun yes you're in school to study you're in school to learn you're in school to this and that and every or maybe just every most early level students come to school with the idea of ah i don't want to be in this school i want to get with the first class which is actually a very very good thing trust me it is actually the best thing come with that mindset so it keeps you focused all those people when they get to their 20 year level they start to like see they're like well by the time they enter final year they're like i didn't see that yeah i just graduated but you don't be that kind of student come with the mentality of you want to get with the first class and try to stick to it but while you are that after pass through school and let school pass through you that's the idea have fun i know you people say backup is very rigid the rules are too much yeah, they are, but there are, there are fun activities in Bapo the time there is four five six seven years i don't even think any courses of seven years in Bapo can university but if there is that is the highest time you need to stay in Bapo as a student on an undergraduate make good use of it have fun let's go past you and past through stuff there are cameras everywhere Take it or leave it. There are cameras everywhere. So you want to watch what you do in school. So for example, now if you are caught cheating in an examination hall, chances that people from CCTV would come to pick you up from that exam hall, and that is all for you. Chances are um that is then you get to look fine, they caught you, you go through the punishment. If you're in the second year, you can be given one year suspension, you come back, do you understand? For some people, they have their pipe, it's a time for them to leave. I went to like your final year, where you're supposed to be waiting for a graduation list. The next year, since your name is on panel list, something you've done like for them, during them that you've forgotten. They're doing it for you then. So you want to be careful of the camera and school. Oh, you think that you see me like now working? Oh, my shock, Kiko. <laughs> it is shocking. Let me tell you that you're not working. What you're working is not telling me. I tell you how I'm careful. Okay, let me know. I want to tell you more about this. Beware of okay, we zoom in August. So beware of August rush, August slash September rush. It is something that is common in most schools. For some schools, it is September, October. Rapid level is your problem. But still, make sure you're late. Alright, so alright, so beware of beware of August slash September rush. For most schools, it's always October, November. I think September, October. Yeah, for most schools, it's always September, October. But for back of it's August, September rush. Be real, this is real. See, as a fresher, and let me tell you the truth. Every Sunday level, third level, fourth level girl would want to try their luck. Once you're a fine girl, you tie yourself well. Every girl would want to try their luck. 
as per fresher. Let's try, let's see what's up. Don't let any guy deceive you that does not have a girlfriend. See, they will do. <laughs> oh my god. They do take that tray with match, I mean, a play with match, and even that is to call it. But that's what they will do for you. Because some people, like some returning students, most likely not come till like the end of September, beginning of October, and all of that. Those ones, they will have gone to go and shoot their shot at you, and you're just a fresher. And by the time your girlfriend comes, they dump you. Like, they will give you a blow. Use your head. <laughs> Use your head. August, September rush is real. Don't let anybody use it to play a real match. Say no, you're not doing it. Everybody that tells you there's not a girlfriend is a lie. You see, what is it to play a real match? Say no, you're not doing They have girlfriends in their level or a level below them. So use your head. Get going with your head. The next thing I want to tell you about my pocket is please, as much as you can, come with your change. And for this, I want to say a very big thank you to my mom and my daddy. I never really used to appreciate this most times. When I'm going to school, I used to appreciate it. Please, as much as you can, come to Bangkok University with change. You know, like for me, I'm coming 1,000 naira, bundle of 1,000, 1,000 naira, bundle of 500 naira. See, you go dash change, you go tire. You will dash people change, you will tell the dash people change. People change. Use their head. Come with change as much as possible because in Bangkok, they never have change. They can sell from morning to night. You will still come and ask them for change. They do it to have change in Bangkok. They do it to have change. So, as much as possible, come with your change. And this is one thing I've shared my friends for whenever I'm going to school. 50 50 naira. See, they can give me like 5,000 naira. But that is going to be broken down to 50 50 naira. 20 20 20 naira. 10 10 naira. 5 naira. 50 50 naira. 100 naira. 20 200 naira. Just start like breaking your change down. Because trust me, they don't need to have change in Bangkok. So, if you don't want to dash out your change, or oh, angrily give your change to people. Come to school with your change. She has to go. I don't know what to talk about is Bad Brides, BGH, yes. and those two places. Bad Brides, BGH, and Musa. Now, Bad Brides is Bangkok shopping mall. People call it Bad Brides, but it's shopping mall. Anyway, you have to call it. Yeah, people call it Bad Brides. Um, BGH, Bangkok Guest House. That's what BGH is. And um, Busa, Busa is, the, Busa is the student administration where you get food. I think that's where a lot of people go there. <laughs> now let me just inform you people so, <laughs> so you would know. I'll start with Busa now. Like I said in the last point, it is to have change in Bangkok. It is to have change. But in places like Busa, you get to like write your name down and then come back for your change if you want to. As for some day, you write the change in the paper, so they give it to you, so you come back with the paper. Don't lose the paper, I'll give you the change and go. <laughs> but yeah, that's by the way. In Busa, if you open for the day and food start flowing, my dear, my dear, my dear, just be ready. You will join queen, not straight line queen, scattered queen, but you have to stay and wait for your turn. <laughs> and wait for your turn. So be ready for the stress. That's one of the also that comes with being in Bangkok students. Stress. Then speaking of Q, let me just tip in this one. If you are going to places like um the Caltera, be ready to join Q. That one is a straight line Q. Yes, this is a straight line Q. You wait for your turn. People shorts don't go. You have to know some of the shorts, obviously. But if you are caught short, then there are some days when um the walkers and cap are always straight, like extremely straight. They <laughs> This like when it's time for Moi Moi, Friday, Friday Moi Moi, especially they are always straight because the queue, like you have to make queue in Bangkok universities, this, this other leaders in a way, in some particular places, especially in cafeteria, especially in cafeteria, be ready to quit. You join the quit or you shunt when you know somebody, but then you don't catch you. They catch you shunt, you go back to the end of the, of the queue. Don't say nothing. So yeah, I was talking about um, Busa. Um, BGH and Barbara's. Now, for Busa, like I said, there's always like scattered queue, but there's a queue, always a queue. So be ready to stand on side under the hot so sweat. So you can get yourself a small fan if you like yourself. Get yourself a small fan. There's a small and the fan. Get yourself that or get yourself the normal fan. Just get yourself a fan because Busa is always hot. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's always hot. So, and then you have to join Queen to buy something to eat. So you will need that. And be careful, Bisa. No. You will spend all your money there. And that is like, say you should be careful with Barbara. See, Barbara is a shopping mall, like I said. 
So maybe it's your form big children. I want more about the whole. She has the money, no wala. You can go to Barbright and do that every day of your life. But if you have people like me, they know yes, we have to save, we have to use our sense and our head where it's need to be. Go to calf. <laughs> go to calf. Speaking of calf, try your best to keep your meal ticket. Don't lose your meal ticket. Try your best to keep your meal ticket. Don't lose your meal ticket. And as the first year student, don't come and perform me. Um, which leads me to the BGH part. For the BGH, it's like 151 points. Last I check, yes. It's like from 15. Check what we If you know you don't have the strength and stamina, uh, please don't go and turn yourself. Don't be trying to form what is not, what you are not. By saying you want to go to BGH, you don't like the food in the calf. So you want to go to BGH in the morning, you go to BGH in the night. My dear, you go to you go to Santia by the middle of semester and see what you beg you. Go and find your music. <laughs> you go and find your music. So if you are ahead, avoid BGH, avoid Busa, avoid um, Barbara as much as possible. Barbara has restored, so I had. <laughs> you need to collect your money. Use your head. I don't think I actually even went to BGH till I was in 2011. And if I went to BGH in OLM, okay, I think I went once and I went to see my aunt when she came for a program in Bangkok. She told me and my cousin to come. That was the reason why I went. And she gave me money, obviously. I know I spent my money there. She gave me money. After that time, I don't think I actually went to Barbara in I don't think I actually went to BGH in OLM. Well, I think I went to the third level. Maybe towards the end of my third level. But I know I went to the third level. See, BGH is addictive. Once you enter once, you would always want to go. You always want to find a reason to go. Especially when you feel, oh, you feel the cafeteria, you don't like it. So use your head. Use your head. Don't come out for me, big man. But in the middle of semester, okay? We, you will not have your ticket. Nobody will tell you. Nobody will tell you. Use your head. Keep your meal ticket and use your meal ticket. Go to calf when it's time to go to calf. That's what I have to say. Alright, so let me just list some things you should know about Tobacco University. One, Busara is 300 naira. Although at um, the place, I think the place is 350. But generally, everywhere in Busa, when they sell food, their food is still in there. But the place is still 50. Everything at the place, if you hear the place in Baku, everything there is extra in the way. So, yeah, their food there is still 50. Their food in the mall, too, I think it's like 352. Then the one in BGH is over 350, obviously. Bring enough passports from your whole house. Yes, snap your passport from your house. You can try not to take passport, though. You can try to come to school to take your passport. Yeah, see, they are, they are, they are plenty of people with DSF. And this is the way they used to do it, I don't know what to do. The reason they were like, sister passport, sister passport. <laughs> sister passport, sister passport. I think six of the eight passports for like 500 naira. If you have the money, you want to take enough passports. You're going to use passports. Your first year, they will keep asking for passports. What fish you want? They'll be your passports. So at least in your first year, you use close like, if I'm not going to exaggerate, you use like close to like 10 passports, if no more. So snap your passport before you come to school. My advice. <laughs> this is from a computer student. They say if you choose city, if they say if you want to study computer, don't choose city in Bangkok University. That you will not be able to your set. I don't know how true this is, <laughs> but that you should wait. And if you choose it and you give you a new you can wait. And when you get to school, you change it. But they say you should not choose city. I don't know how true that is. Another advice I want to give is have friends everywhere. As I said, I have male friends everywhere for females, but I have friends everywhere in the church, SOB, um, class, everywhere. I have friends. You would actually need them at some point in life. Trust me, you would. You would. I have friends everywhere. I can't overemphasize it. I have friends everywhere in church, I have friends in class, I have friends among the SOP. Be friendly, be nice to the SOPs. They can be. Or just be friendly and be nice to them, honestly. Be. I have friends among them. They would. They will come in at the end of the day. <laughs> Alright, I'm laughing because of this thing I want to say. So for a guy, people say if you don't like if you don't like turning your shirt, because they like turning shirt. It's why when it's not native. People say if you don't like turning your shirt, make sure you don't go around with your ID card. Because one thing about school is always walk around with your ID card. So if you avoid SOP stopping you, because another level say they will stop you with thoughts. So you can tell you I can't once they know you've gotten it and yeah. So they believe guys are saying this is a message from guys so to follow guys. They say you should if you don't like turning your shirt, make sure you don't walk around your ID card. 
So once you see an SOP coming, once you see an SOP coming, just find your face. They will believe you. <laughs> I don't know how true this is. I don't know if it works, but this is from a fellow guy like you guys. Just squeeze your face. They will believe you are a friend and you are from Welch. So. I you. Must you come and interrupt? Must you come and interrupt? Must you come and interrupt? Enjoy, you know me. Must you come and interrupt? You. So, yeah. I will have this part, you see. This is an answer from the birthday boy. I think if you like this story, you will see I'm just talking. Can you see how I keep talking? John, this is just do your video. Don't be that way. Cut it out. And I was talking on work in Sarah Teddy. So, like I was saying, this is from your family, your fellow guys. They say, if you don't like to turn in your shit, make sure you don't worry about your ID card. So, once an SOP sees you, just squeeze your face. They will believe you are a foreign level student and you are from Welch. What is not the odds for guys? According to male, male folks, they say SOP fair guys from Welch. I don't know how to this is, but yeah, that's the message for you guys. <laughs> Alright, so um, this next one relates to, I think, the first thing I actually said, first or the second thing I actually said. See, it's just four years you have. Yes, four years is actually a very, very long time for you to fall in love with people, with somebody, and you guys can move on. But in the team, most times, this thing is to end. So use your head. Honestly, use your head. You went to school to read, you went to school to get a degree, you went to school to get a certificate. Please, focus, phase it, and get it. And focus, phase it, and get it. Here to go. Let me read out some of the comments from BAG's page. According to one accounting student, she was like, if you are going to be in the accounting department, bring all your seriousness and determination from your house. I will actually say this is for all course. If you want to study any course in Bapo, please just bring all your seriousness and your focus. Especially in some particular courses like accounting. In fact, in most courses, please bring all your determination and seriousness from your house. Bapo can be very frustrating. Take it and leave it. Another person said, if you are coming to nursing year, my brother and sister, it is the worst decision you would ever make in your life. I don't know how true this is, but that's what they told. So I said, anything you do, be sure not to buy food from the girls besides Zoka, Shelby, and Musa. Nobody want me in my time, so you're welcome. Because I thought I was the only one, but now I'm reading this cover, it's very obvious I'm not the only one. Okay, so in, um, like I said, I mentioned Busa earlier in this video. Now, um, Busa, like I said, is still an association. This is where most people get food from. You get food, get books. See, you get a lot of stuff from there, not just book. You get everything you need there. Everything you need as a student, you get it there. So, um, there are two main shops aside the place that people love to go to. Yeah, there are two main shops aside the place that people love to go to. One is a shop that has mostly guys. They call it, if you, if you hear people say uh, the guy side, Abusa. When people say the guy side, Abusa. Yeah. They have females there, but people just know them as the guy side. There's another the side they call the girl side. These two shops actually decide each other. Or you just want to tell you, let me get food from Zorka's place. Zorka's place is the guy side. Besides Zorka's place is where you have the female side. So Zorka's place is like, as I'm facing you guys, Zorka's place is like on my right. This side and then um, um the female the female side is on my left as I'm facing you guys like this yeah so what is coming about is the female side the day I bought food from them I bought jello fries from them I really don't like it I'm reading that comment it means I'm not the only one who doesn't like it I thought I was the only one anyone who knows me would know if I want to get food from Babcock University very busa I get my food from the other side from the girl side, everybody knows, I'm always emphasizing on it or I go to the place, the reason why I don't really like the places their food is actually okay but it's expensive and small their food is 350 and it's just small let me just tell you but you see a lot of people go there like students go there a lot to the place, a lot because that's where you get your interview from for 350, everything there is mostly 350 it's not even that's good food you get your interview there that's where you get the same interview though you get your spam for 350, you get your rice for 350, and they are always small. But for the guys and for um, the girls' side, they are exterior generals, this take away pack. So, yeah, that's what you need to do. Another advice I have for you come with all the same cards 
you know of in Nigeria, especially the phone mobile networks, Excelat, MTN, Etel, and you will come with them. But trust me, you most likely will use your MTN and your other. I think it's an extent, those ones are good in a way. The reason why I say you should come with those phones is because it looks like every room in Bapok has a mobile network assigned and attached to it. Why did I say this? For every room in Bapok, there's a network eh, that makes sense. All the other networks don't make, sense, don't make sense there. I remember when I was on a level, I did not have an NTM SIM card. I did not have any NTM SIM card. I did not have Etel SIM card. I had to go get, I think, Etel. Okay. It's an Etel I went to get the MCN, I can't remember. But then I had to get another SIM card when I got to school. Because the SIM card I was using Etel at was not working in my room. <laughs> so, make sure you call me to phone it. When I moved to, when I got to the level, that SIM all over were a different room. I think the next thing I was working there was MCN. Etel was not working there. So if you're using a cell in that room, it's be totally useless. Like you have data, but you don't need to use it because the network is bad. So come with all the four networks if you can. Because one network might not work in your room and you're working on that room. Actually, nine mobile. Nine mobile is very annoying in Bangkok University and blue to an extent. Blue is always annoying in every But nine mobile is, can be a very annoying. There's a point where the first moment of resumption. It's that was bad. Everybody kept complaining about it. This one was not even a one room problem or two or three rooms problem. This one was generally in Bangkok. Everybody complained about it. So people were telling their friends who were still at home. See, if you are coming, don't come with Excel last week. Just come with your MTS. You can. It was that bad. So make sure you have the phone networks. If you can, you will take me later for this. <laughs> Someone said in Bangkok, don't discover, you discover Bangkok. <laughs> Another important thing I would like to emphasize is get you a small fan. Get a small fan. The sun in back pocket is not this, and then you have to deal with Q alongside sun. It is really not the nicest thing. So get you a small fan. Either that small one they used to hold that fancy fan, or the other fancy fan, or the real fan. Just get yourself a fan. So it go. Another thing I would like to say, more importantly, is you have not arrived. Yes, you have not arrived. Don't think because they give you admission and you've managed. To enter school before some of your friends, you've arrived. You've not arrived. In fact, your journey has never started. Ask people who are in your final year. Ask people who have left school. Your journey has not started. So don't enter school with the mentality of, oh, I have arrived, I've become bigger, and you start to misbehave. My guess, you will go home before you do settle. Like before you settle, you will go home. And remember, let me add this too. Remember that you are not a student yet till after your matric. So any small mistake from you, back up. Can send you and it's not you can see if they collect money for you because your name as at that time was written in a pencil. <laughs> your name in backup book was written in a pencil with a pencil. So they can send you back home any year, any year without thinking twice. Like they will not even have to get your face panel. You can never wear that communication gown, you can never wear relation gown then because you are never a student to start with. So it's after your matric, you're not a student. So you've not you've not even arrived even after your matric. So give yourself a brain. Don't ask time is behaving, saying what they can do, you don't care what they eh? You will care by the time you wear condition. Yes, like I said, they're not conditional for you because as of now you've not become a student, you are just trying to make for me to the school. So till after your matric, you're not a student and you've not arrived, even after conversion, you've not arrived. So sister, brother, calm down. Okay, so another thing I'd like to tell you is make sure you attend church. It's easier to attend church than do community service. It is easier to attend church service in Bangkok eh, than attend community service. A lot of people try to skip it to tell their friends to sign for them and all of that. But trust me, if you are caught, you face a penalty. So attend, it's very my best already was it. Attend church. Else you do community service or you risk you risk suspension. Right, so I said something about joining social life, but please let me have this to that social life part. Join social activities in the campus, but make sure your social activities don't affect your CDP. Make sure they don't affect your CDP. Once you see that the enemy begins to affect your CDP, almost jack up, run for your life. Also, one thing you should know is Yamaita is big in Bangkok University. So get ready to eat Yamaita. That's one thing I've missed and I'm excited to resume back to school for. Although the struggle for Yamaita is real. The struggle for your marita is real. Let me just put it back to you. Now, there are some names you should actually avoid when you get back to university. Number one is Sisi Unwosu. 
Although I, I hear she has left the school. That's what I'm hearing. I don't know how true it is. But her boy had like a plague. Like when you hear CC was is coming, please position yourself well. <laughs> Let me just tell you. And then for every department, there's always a lecturer that you need to give that give your all your lecturers expect. But there are some lecturers that you just need to stay clear. Stay clear of their way. Just do not respect just because you want to pass and graduate. You want to stay clear of your trouble just because you want to graduate in peace. She cannot. Another thing I want to tell you is Valentine good is important, but your peace of mind is important. So if you don't have a boo or a bae, stay clear, stay on your day. Don't give yourself anything. And I also like to add this no human being on earth. I repeat, no human being on earth is what you clean yourself from to say love. Say to say, um, you see your boyfriend, your boy, your baby. Give yourself a brain. Love is not blind. Love is wearing five D glasses these days. Shine your eyes. Any guy that's going or a lady that's going to threaten your peace, please run. You're another level. Your parents just sent you to school. Accept yourself. I want to add this. See, before you come to the university, eat as much meat, fish, chicken, turkey, everything you want to eat, everything you want to eat. Eat it well before you come to school. Because by the time you come to school, chances are you're going to start eating egg and tofu all your life. Except you have the money to go and spend your BGH, chicken and turkey, fish and everything. Show you here. So eat your meat, fish, chicken, turkey. Eat it at home very well before you come to school. You can go to school on your first year of exemption. Hopefully, your potter will allow you to take it. Hopefully, just for that period. Hopefully, your potter will hopefully you. Emphasis on the hopefully. Your potter will allow you to take it. I don't know about cafeteria ticket. Keep your cafeteria ticket well. Like, keep it well. They say cafeteria ticket. That's that best people you are. By the time those people that are from people, my big women, I've now realized that yes, booking have entered. They start to steal tickets. Or people that never pay for like, maybe they will pay for like two meals. They told me they did not pay for They come to school because they want to steal it. So keep your tickets. Nobody's going to be answering you for any missing or stolen tickets. Chetiko, you have not arrived. I repeat, you have not arrived. The fact that you came to school before any of your classmates does not mean you have arrived. So take your time. Learn everything you want to learn. You need to learn and you want to learn. Learn it. Be sociable. Attend sociable activities. Read your books. Attend classes. Don't come and start saying yeah, this is your first year final love. You have no reason to skip any class. Like no freaking reason to just skip a class. So attend all your classes. Tired or not, attend classes. Go to church. This is your first day. You meant to discover everything. You meant to learn and know everything in your first day. So how would you leave you attend? How would you leave you participate? Participate. Orientation is compulsory. Let me add this. Orientation is compulsory. So make sure you attend the orientation. One. Your matric is at stake if you don't attend. Two, your graduation is at stake, like your communication is at stake if you don't attend. It is important. Sir. It is stressful. It is not the best place to be because trust me, what most of the things they do, they are things you see and not finding out yourself whether or not that properly. But just make sure you go. They send attendance. As of my turn, we used to clock in and clock out. I don't know how to do right now. But go! And that's another thing is make friends when you come to school. Should I tell you why? Because chances are the friends you make here would actually last longer than the friends you met in secondary school. Make friends, but be wise. Use your head. Bears of the same feathers flock together. Don't let your friends choose you. You choose your friends. Choose people that think like you, act like you, do things like you, have aligning purpose as you. People that they say life pose attract. On life pose repel. Choose your life pose. Another important thing you should come to school with is your sunshade. I'll be your sunscreen. I'll be your. You shall get the point. Come to school with your sunglasses. It is important. The sun in Bangkok is not from this world. Let me say so like that. Although I've been to the area, I know you know the sun is more than Bangkok, that of Bangkok. But a lot of Bangkok students always complain. Like when it rains, in the sense that it doesn't rain so much, that the floor does get wet. Know that the next day the sun that will come out will be times two of what has always been coming out. I don't know if that makes sense to you. So, come with your sunshade, you will need it and you take the meter from it. Attend every every compulsory program in Bangkok. Make sure you attend it. Church service, chapel seminar, everything they say compulsory. Make sure you attend it because I tell they give you. By the time they dash you community service, 
you become a full-time backup worker. But the way between you and the normal average backup worker is you won't get paid. You become a backup worker but without pay. They will not pay you do community service for free. So use your head. Alright, okay, let me just add this for people who would choose this odds. If you know you picked pistol and platinum or please come with money, get money, or be ready to trek. <laughs> be ready to trek. Another advice I'll give is if you know you picked any of this or and you are a fresher, make sure you always go around with your ticket, your car ticket. Because trust me, you don't want to get back to your own and then have to return to calf. Do you understand? Like you're coming from class. You now left your car ticket in the hall. Where you should go to lunch, so you get to your order. Come back. The distance, Crystal and Platinum, is far to everywhere in the school. Everywhere except stadium. You got those two halls off campus. I, I seen in Platinum last year. Trust me, it was not this. So make sure you always walk around with your ticket and have a partner, somebody you can always go to cafe with. Especially if you're on breakfast, make sure you always have someone you can go to the cafe because trust me, you don't want to check in that long distance alone by yourself. Except you're like me that loves to walk alone, then, then yeah, you'll be good. Also, it's advisable if you're in these two halls that you get one of the get them and number, but those ones can be. <laughs> get your number if you can, especially if you're someone that you, you see your timetable, you see seven a.m. classes. My dear, I know you like to sleep. Get a get man's number, get it. Another thing I want to tell you is whatever you do, make sure you don't get caught. Whatever you do, Make sure you don't get caught. Whatever you do, make sure you don't get caught. Mercy would not say no. <laughs> Another thing I want to tell you is anything you do, make sure you don't leave school without pass. Especially if you know you are staying on campus. Make sure you don't leave school without pass. They will always catch you. They will catch you. Don't leave school without pass. Another thing I want to tell you is don't allow any person to take your ID card. Trust me, don't want to know what's going to happen next. Run away from Bapo boys. What your mommy told you is true. And know you're right. Obey the rules and regulations. There's more to life outside Bapo University. Know you're right. But make sure when you are defending your rights, you already know the rules and regulations. So you can defend you well. Another thing I want to tell you is don't let anyone push you to be rude to any lecturer. Like your classmates, they'll be telling you. They'll be giving you signs. Don't let anyone push you to be rude to any lecturer. Trust me, it doesn't always end well. It doesn't always end well. And avoid lecturers being your matching member. Like, don't allow any lecturer single and then they pick you out from your class. They are always talking. These are the things they pick you out for good, but for bad. It is for bad. It doesn't always end well. Let me discover from me in this place. Someone said, only the girls are for theory level and for level guys. Only the boys we want. <laughs> I think it's my last video. Please make sure your clothes are actually compliant clothes. So you will avoid brother, sister, 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 blaskets, sister, sister on blaskets, sister on blaskets. So you avoid it. Make sure your clothes, your hair, everything is compliant. See, as you can like say, you see this short week? You see this short week? I think I have like two. And I'll still try to see when I get the third one. Come with hair that is compliant. Come with clothes that are compliant. Just be compliant so you still have the trouble. Show me your friends and I'll tell you who you are. The kinds of friends you keep will determine your CDP at the end of the semester. Choose your friends wisely. <sighs> Alright, next friends will be with that stay off campus so they can help you buy food from outside school because trust me, this food on campus can be very tiring. It can be very tiring. So make friends with people who stay off campus so they can always help you get food once in a while. But if they catch you and them, you buy trouble, you <laughs> just add that. Don't borrow people money that you know you can't afford to lose. Yes. If someone comes to you, oh, please borrow me 5k. And you know, if you give that 5k, you will die before they return the 5k. Please don't borrow the money. Don't, let them call you stingy. Let them call you evil. Let them call you wicked. Because people sometimes don't repay money. They'll borrow you money. They'll borrow money from you and they will not repay it. Use your head. Another thing I want to tell you is get ready. Get your mind prepared because orientation week is gonna be one of it's gonna be one of your tedious week in our university, especially the medical aspects. You're going to have to go through like seven different levels. Let me tell you in advance. Seven different levels. And those levels, because of the number of students, they are always, always the most difficult levels to go through. So you want to join people, call with people and go early. Like if you start today, and let's say you say economic talk, 
just go home, like go to your, go back to your hall. I'll come back very early the next day. So you start. Here orientation week, the most tedious part of orientation week is the medical part. Like it is very tedious. So make sure you prepare your mind. Prepare your mind for it. You better calm someone said, I'm going to read out what this person said. Someone on you just said, you better calm down and learn. I know it's a tough phase, but calm down and try to do well academically. You're not bigger than any of your classmates. So true. Another person said, be careful, Japanese and Aries. They can send you home faster than you came in. Kind of true. <laughs> someone says, run, run. When you see SOP, run. When you see cameras, run. When you see cameras, run. When you see back up ways, carry your slippers and run. Kind of true. Another thing I'd like to tell you is, somewhere in classes will be hard for you as a fresher. Very, very hard. But just try your best to attend them. Try your best to attend them. Try your best to attend them. You will get used to it before you finish your second year. But that's the way in class. Make sure you attend it. Put on your time table. Attend it. Someone said when you resume, if you see any crawling insect that is orange and black, do not peel it on your skin. All the best. I think this is the skirt and blouse insect. Please, I wear skirt and blouse insect. That's what they call it. I don't know the other name for it. I ask a lot of is don't be scared to ask questions. Ask questions. Once you don't know, ask questions. Ask questions. I like to like to add it. Eat badu. Eat enough badu. Yes. Enjoy the ones that they sell outside school. Just see. Alright, so I think that's where I'm going to stop. I hope I've been able to help you guys. If you have any other questions about my book, make sure you leave them in the comment section. Send me DMs. I'll try to respond as DMs. You just need to make a third video or make a third video. But I hope you guys have fun watching this because I had fun making this video. And I wish you well. I welcome you to Black University officially through my channel. If you meet me in person in school, make sure you walk up to me and say hi. I'm, I don't buy it. I'll be happy to say hi and know that yes, you're one of those people that are subscribed and are following me on my channel. You can relate. I can help you. I can tell you some things one on one. Don't worry, I resume on the 25th. I'm not resuming you guys on the 18th, but I'll be around on the 25th so you can always relate. Trust me, I'm a very fun person. I don't buy it. So we have to give see me on campus. I wish you guys well. Enjoy back work. Make the most of back work. Have fun. Do you stay out of trouble? That's all I have to say. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Bell is down below. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you like it. If you like something, if you laughed, loved, or liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, hit the bell right beside it to subscribe so you stay notified when the video will be the first to see it. For my new comments, you guys are welcome. For my oldies, thank you for sticking around with me. I noticed that my oldies are not subscribed to my channel. So please, why? You guys watch my videos and you don't subscribe. Please, why? Subscribe. And yeah. I think that's all. I'll see you guys in my next video, which hopefully is very, very, very soon. Leave me a comment for your machine media platforms, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Yeah, 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 yeah.